Do you want to play outside on the Treasure Coast and truly enjoy the water? Do water sports, do something fun and unique and not, you know, break the bank? Then let me show you seven different water sports that you can do that's affordable here on the Treasure Coast. And we're going to start right now. Hi everyone, my name is Natalia Reinhardt, Realtor with Home Street Home Realty here on the Treasure Coast and I talk about where to live, where to eat, and where to play. Today we're going to talk about where to play, where to play on the water, and if you want to stay in tune with all things Treasure Coast, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. We post videos every week. All right, so I wanted to bring up a list of water sports, recreational activities that you can do at an affordable rate um, where you're not really breaking the bank, like losing an arm and a leg to afford to go out. Uh, so in this list, I'm going to mention some prices about each sport. Some of them you do have to invest in, others like it's just something that you can absolutely afford and do today if you really wanted to so on a day like this it's february of 2021 it's a beautiful day where you can absolutely go outside and play numero uno fishing that's prime here you can just buy a rod and get your license real quick online you can get bait for like ten dollars so maybe on a cheap per rate you're looking at a hundred dollars you know 150 maybe to buy the whole set to really go out and fish one of the best things about this area on the treasure coast is that you can go to the pier you can go on a boardwalk you can just walk a few blocks, go to a canal and start fishing. So there are so many different options nearby that don't require you to charter a boat. And it is a long-term investment. You buy the rod, the rod is still okay, then you just, you just have the maintenance of maybe the reel and the bait. So it is worth it long-term. And to be honest, it's one of the best things you can do also with your kids. So my husband and our kid, we just, drive to the nearest playground, which is five minutes away. There's the canal with the little, you know, bridge and whatnot, and we just go fishing nearby. Fun activity without costing an arm and a leg. Numero dos, we have kayaking. Yes, kayaking can be affordable. You just have to make the initial purchase of getting the kayak and the paddle board or the paddles, the paddles. <laughs> so I know that my husband in particular, he's a 6'4 dude, very tall, wide, and he needed an unusually long, large, like, and wide kayak, which would cost a lot of money, maybe five, $600. He ended up finding a used one on Craigslist back in the day for about $150. So you can get used kayaks, you can buy new ones. If you really look maybe at a Sam's Club, Walmart, you can buy some for maybe $100. And if you go to Bass Pro, obviously you can get 350 and whatnot, and it can go all the way up to 500. So it does range, but on the cheaper end, it is affordable for you to enjoy. One of the other things that's pretty cool with the kayak is that you can combine it with fishing. And so, huge deal. A lot of people do this around here. I've had friends that have come up from Fort Lauderdale to the Treasure Coast to do specifically that, just go kayak fishing. And it's something more attractive um, where you can just get better results. So. Lots of different options when it comes to your kayak and when it comes to fishing. Number three, we have kiteboarding. I don't know anything really about kiteboarding except for what my friends tell me. And it is one of those sports where you probably should get some training. <laughs> don't just go on your own and think that YouTube videos are enough necessarily. I There are schools nearby that will teach you um, safety, safety for yourself and safety for swimmers. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Um, we do have a good spots, whether in Martin County in the Stewart area, we have, you know, the Sebastian area where it's just prime locations 
to kiteboard and you can find equipment or a set of equipment for as cheap as $130. And I will caution to be very careful about how cheap you go with that sort of stuff because it then can range to like $1,500. So I would be a little bit wary with the 130 mark, but there you have it. You could still find equipment to kiteboard for about 130 bucks. Numero cuatro, we have surfing. And if you're familiar with the Treasure Coast at all, then you really know that surfing is a big deal here. We have a reputation to cultivate the surf culture, if you will. There are pros that have come out to practice down here on the Treasure Coast, especially in Sebastian and maybe the Fort Pierce Inlet. So there are many options, many opportunities to enjoy the waves. And surfing is just known. We are known for surfing here. If you wanna buy a surfboard, it can really start off in the $150 range and go up $350, $400. One of the many suggestions is to buy used. So go for it, that you can do used. And the other option is to borrow, <laughs> borrow someone's or rent one. Numero cinco, we have paddle boards. So if we're good with surfing, we definitely should be good with paddle boards. Paddle boards, there's different options. There's the really heavy, sturdy ones, and then there's the inflatable ones. And the inflatable ones can really start around the $90 range, and it goes up from there, maybe $300, $350. Paddle boards are awesome to have on the Treasure Coast just because you have different flows of water, whether it's the beach or the river. Numero seis, snorkeling. It is by far the cheapest water sport you can do on the Treasure Coast and for that matter, anywhere in Florida. You have many options, whether it's on Hutchinson Island, at Bata Beach, you can do at Indian Riverside Park. There's just tons of options to enjoy snorkeling in a safe environment with your kids. You can do it on your own and just go off a little bit more on the beach on a calm day. So how cheap can you go? Just go to Five Below, the store. They literally have snorkeling gear for $5. You can go as expensive as Bass Pro Shops for $70, and that would include the fins. So many different options to make it happen and to enjoy the Florida weather. Numero siete, scuba diving. Yes, I love to scuba dive, although I don't do it nearly as much as I wish I could, uh, but it's definitely something that you have an option here to do. We have many different locations that you can explore. The starting price to get the proper equipment is maybe in the $200 range. And you have to be careful, equipment like this does matter. Um, your fins and whatnot. I remember going really cheap when I first got certified, when I was 16 in high school. And to be honest, like, it is what it is. I could only afford you know, what I can um, with the support of my parents. And sure enough, I get to my test dive on the, you know, on the open water. And the captain absolutely told me that those were the worst fins I could have purchased, that I'm going to die. That's the wording he used on my test dive. Not cool. And sure enough, right when I went under, my fins came off. So... <laughs> It matters. Make sure you get good equipment when it comes to diving and be safe. So make sure to get certified, but it is a beautiful option if you want to enjoy the water, but it gets expensive. It can range up to the $2,000 range. And in order to find a good spot, you do probably have to charter a boat. The only thing better than owning a boat is having a friend with a boat. That's a popular saying among like boaters and fishermen and wannabes. <laughs> but there's a truth to that. I'm, I know there is. And so whether or not you have a boat, there are options for you to enjoy the water here on the Treasure Coast and in most of Florida, let's be real. It is a list that can be adapted to every other location here, but it is beautiful here on the Treasure Coast. And I encourage you to check out my 
ultimate relocation guide. It is in the description below. There's a link there. The guide helps you just learn a little bit more about this area and how we got our fancy name. I am Natalia Reinhardt, your host to the Treasure Coast, and I will see you around town.